Tonight we're back in Kingsville, Texas at the Old Girl's Kitchen restaurant. Why? Well, the last time we were here, there was more questions than answers. Just like this piece of evidence we captured last time. Now I know that child giggling still sends shivers up my spine and answers the haunting question, why is there children here? Is it the land, is it the restaurant, or could it be the tunnels that run underneath Kingsville? But tonight, hopefully we can kind of button up this investigation and find out what's going on right here on South Texas Home. First off, thank you again so much for letting us come back in and reinvestigate uh, this wonderful restaurant. I have to ask, has there been anything else that's happened since the last time we were here? We hear a voice from time to time. Um, it likes to call my waitress's name. And sometimes I'll be walking behind her and the voice will say her name and that voice comes from between us and there's nothing there. And she turns around and asks me, did you say something? And I'm like, no, but I heard it. So we do hear her name a lot. And that's been pretty much the consistency of just the new stuff. Or mm -hmm. So when the last time we were here and we were doing the uh, evidence review and you, we played that uh, EVP of the child giggling from inside the safe area, I mean, what, what was your thoughts on that? Goosebumps for sure. Um, I mean, we don't have children in here usually between the ages of three and four, and that's kind of what it sounded like. I know when I when it was played for me, it literally sent chills up my spine because it's, yeah. it's something out of a horror movie. And it was super loud. It was. It was just, you're sitting there, you're like, <laughs> you should, what, you no should? Doubt. you're playing a movie on the laptop. No, this is what the audio captured. And I was like, okay, that's no doubt. But uh, hopefully we can put a little more closure to what's going on and see if, if we can get a little, few more answers tonight. Hope so. What? Uh, I'm gonna So as we were getting things set up, they thought they heard her name, the name Alice, correct? Okay. Who's whispering? Who's here? So I'm turning on the ovulus. For those that don't know what an ovulus is, basically there's a dictionary within this piece of equipment. Disaster. And it said that spirits can use their energy to communicate with us through the dictionary within the ovulus. So Mommy. Are you a child? What's that? It's like a chair being moved. Yeah. A little high plane is dead. But it didn't come through any of these. So this is another version of the ovulus. It's just done through a phone. Same concept. And what is it? What is, what? 
Because I. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> Ghost? George? Get out of here. That's what That eat on this. What is it? Eat. Eat. Art. Art. So did you eat here tonight? Is your name? That almost sounded like my voice coming through. What is your name? You say Eva? How many of you are there? How many? I heard a high plane is dead, but it didn't come through any of these. Did you hear that? Right. Did y'all hear the high? Mm -hmm. I've been hearing a lot of stuff like that. Just this was this was here. plain as day. My right. legs were like super cold like, like before. Just the yeah. tops of my thighs. And my right. chair right. actually it got moved. Plain as day. Like I, I, it just moved. It's me. Who are you? No, this high was plain as day between mm -hmm. me and BB, and it didn't come through any of these. Can you go inside the vaults and play with the doll? Yeah, I wow, I hope the recorder got that high. Hope so, too, it was just like... That was plain as day. Can y'all come to the table, please? Yes, the table. If you're here, Bert, you want to play some music like last time? Uh, oh, Thanks, Bert. <laughs> sure. How many of you are here? Can you go in the vaults and play with the doll? There's a meter sitting on it. It should be on green. It should be on green now. Can you make it change colors? It won't hurt you. It's just like the balls in front of us. What are you wondering? You did what, honey? That was a kid's voice. You did die. I'm so sorry. How did you die? Do you know? I feel like something's standing right behind me. Yeah, I keep hearing something right here. Tell do enough, you, we need you to What? Does that say enough, sweetie, or something? Mm -hmm. You better go. Go where? Whoa! Felt like something nudged me. Jeff is that? Hmm? Oh, is that ghost too? Yeah, that's pretty good. Is something wrong? They can't hear you. Just come on. All right. 
Come here to the ball. All right, I'm ready. We're here. What is your name? We're listening. What is your name? Tell mommy your name. How many of you are there? Look out. I heard whispering right here. What are we looking out for? You better go. Go where? Whoa! What did you just do to Monty? in there with Monty? Tell us. You don't know? I don't, that's why I'm asking. Who's in there with Monty? Felt like something nudged me. Was it Bert? Bert, did you nudge him? touched Monty. Greg, was that you that touched Monty? Let's go back. Don't be afraid of Monty. He's a good guy. He just wants to talk to you. No. So what Monty's doing, just to explain to you guys, he has headphones on and he can't hear us so he's trying to listen to your voices only so that he can hear what you guys are saying so talk to him do you want us to stop is someone touching me right now look at me Who wants us to look at them? Bert, are you in the vault? Hello? We're here. Hi. It's over here. Can you move a chair, maybe? Or knock on a table? Did you hear that? I did. Like a little child? I heard it. Okay. Is as crazy as this sounds, it sounds like it's like 1950s music. Did it say that or is he saying the man's voice? Yeah, I heard it. Is that gray? What did you say? Greg, is that you? Did you turn off my camera? Your camera. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. I heard I did the camera. Why'd you turn the camera off? Dismiss. Well, the last thing I said was wait. Coming up, we're going to check out all the evidence that we captured on this investigation. Now the evidence from Old Girl's Kitchen, you know, that investigation alone, it's still from the first time that child giggling. And we actually got a little bit of evidence that's geared towards that yet again. Uh, you went through all the evidence last time and this time also, what did we capture? 
So um, this time again, we had conversations with the child. Um, we were doing a ghost box session. And of course, as that we're asking questions and that type of thing, and we get the a mommy and a kid's voice again. And then um, we hear, I did, and we ask back, you did what? Mm -hmm. And then you get this real drawn out almost, and it says, die. And where, where did that, where was it captured at? Where was that audio recorder at? So the auto recorder was actually on the table. We were, we, at this, this time at Old Girl's Kitchen, we kind of just went in with the thought of, you know, it's not a very big space. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just kind of play this off as doing like a ghost box session, EVP sessions. Um, let's not really just walk around the entire time because the main part of the restaurant seemed to be kind of like where the active stuff was, that and the vault. Um, so the EVPs are all kind of captured for on the auto recorder that was sitting on the table with us mm -hmm. during these conversations. Well, I can't wait to hear it. So basically it's almost like a whisper, like a child is saying, mommy. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you hear like the child's trying to get somebody's attention. Um, and so of course we know that a child is there. We had that giggle last time that was very like an infectious. So the child doesn't seem to be in hurting, right? They're just maybe lost and like looking for their mommy. Well, you know, we had that doll on the investigation. Right. I wonder if that like gave some type of attachment or something for the child to come out again. Right, yeah, definitely. So what do you, what's next? So next I would say um, maybe Let's do the I did die in the kid's voice. Alrighty. To me, that one was, when it came across, it was that moment of, wow, is some, this young child who seems to be maybe between the ages of four and six, are they aware that they passed away? Because, um, you know, that's a question that we always ask. And for a kid to come back and say that, it was kind of like, wow, okay. I did. You did what, honey? And that was a kid's voice. Yeah. Can you hear how it's drawn out? I mean, it's just like taking your last breath, kind of. Right. Uh, wow. And it's almost as if somebody answered for him, mm -hmm. because it's kind of in a different tone. It may not be his tone, but it might be his mom answering for him. Okay. Um, then we also, of course, get a name. Um, we get a lot of names there. This time the name Noreen came across, and it's a completely different name. And we're aware that there's a man there, and we call him Steve, right? Mm -hmm. Steve is a name that we constantly have called and we've gotten from there. And so when you hear this EVP, it sounds like a man's voice mm -hmm. saying Noreen. It's like he's calling out. Right, and yeah. it's none of our voices. No. Through the entire investigation, you guys really weren't even in the building. No, It was weren't. literally all females that yeah. were investigating the, during this time. Um, and so to hear a male voice come across on the auto recorder was kind of like, okay, well, there were no men in the room. Yeah, no, there, there was So where did that come from? Um, another one we got was, who's upset me talking to me? Um, and so we actually ask the question and we get the response. Who's upset? Huh. So it's two different people, spirits, yeah. answering the question. So I ask the question, who's upset? And we get a response of me, and then you get another response, talking to me. Um, and then you, we get another name and we get, hey, it's me, Ed. So I believe we're asking a question of like, who's here with us? Um, and we get a, hey, it's me, Ed. And he's very just kind of like friendly. It really makes you wonder, because you know, all the tunnels that's underneath Kingsville, it makes you wonder, what happened or, or maybe somebody was smuggled through the tunnels or, or something because you keep getting all these names and uh, you know as old as these buildings are you know there, I don't believe there was any like settlements or any type of home that was there or anything so no and it could be too I mean that was the first bank in Kingsville so yeah. it could just be people who are going to the bank and like yeah. saying hey it's me Ed I'm here to get my money or whatever the case may be um, another one we got is anything now um, I think we asked another question I don't remember exactly um, and it just comes across anything now. Now that's that's kind of what you would hear that in a bank. You know, right. anything now, I just need something. Or maybe a bank robbery. Right. So. Yeah, we, we who's to know? Yeah. 
Um, and then we get a woo, which is kind of strange to hear on an audio recorder um, when you're having conversations, just general conversations, and all of a sudden you hear a woo, which is something if we heard that with our own ears or if it was one of us saying that, we would have said something in return to that. Yeah. Um, and we didn't. Um, and that's one thing about listening to audio during investigations or after investigations is nine times out of ten, if somebody says something in a room, you're going to respond to it. Yeah. And none of these, were, we didn't respond to them in all reality, unless you hear us responding to them. Um, so the woo is kind of exciting to hear. Okay. Almost what? like it's mocking us. Yeah, like, oh wow, you know, right. yeah. Like, woo, what are you gonna do now? Yeah. So those were kind of the EVPs that we captured at Old Girls. Old Girls has always been something that's like rich in EVPs. We always capture really good EVPs. And I think getting that kid the first time and this time solidifies that there's something going on. No, I really do feel that something's going on in Old Girls. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of a little bit of a hub of paranormal activity in Kingsville. Yeah. Well, we wrapped up this investigation here at the Old Girl's Kitchen in Kingsville, Texas. Definitely some more interesting evidence. And if you guys want to know more about this place, come check it out for yourself. And if you guys want to know more about South Texas Haunts, you can check us out on our website, SouthTexasHaunts.com, across all of our social media platforms. And of course, if you have a location you would like for us to investigate, head on over and fill out our investigation request form. And just your location might just be featured next time on South Texas Haunts. <laughs>